Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Time for us to uh, head straight to our second conversation. Now, we'll be looking at the federal government's call saying it did not nullify Ikoyi's registry weddings. Now, if you have been following the news yesterday, a federal court, a federal high court sitting in Lagos, had declared that all weddings that were conducted in Ikoyi were null and void, illegal, as the federal government does not have what it takes to conduct all of this wedding. So there's been a lot of back and forth. And we will be speaking with Barrister Ayo to help us understand uh, what, who should conduct a wedding, uh, under whose purview should weddings uh, be conducted in Nigeria. It's good to have you join us, Barrister Ayo. Good morning once again. It's a pleasure. My name is Ayo Ademili. I'm a legal practitioner. I'm also secretary at Banco. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. That's all right. So let, let's um, head straight to the conversation now. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, the federal government has come out to say that the court, it did not say that courts, uh, it did not nullify the Koyi registry weddings. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Now, prior to this time, you also had the fact that uh, federal high court in Lagos had declared that it was unconstitutional for the federal government to conduct these weddings. We need to get all the facts straight. Now, uh, the decision you are referring to was the uh, judgment of the Federal Court in the matter of um, uh, Etios and local government versus Minister of Interior, the Koi Registry, and, and other defendants. And in that uh, decision, the court uh, set down a position of law that it is the ATOS and local government registry that is, is um, uh, have the legal capacity to to conduct um, marriages under the law within ATOS and local government. Now we are also seeing the reaction of the uh, Ministry of Interior uh, through its, its permanent secretary, and I've carefully read through the press statement. Now, this separate statement refers to three other cases that are similar to this uh, latest decision. It refers to the case of one Prince Astro and it was a local government versus uh, Minister of Interior and the Korean Registry, which is almost um, the same plaintiffs, the same defenders. Now, let's move forward. The other case is the case of Olimide Babalola, who is a legal practitioner versus you can get local government registry and other defendants in other matter. Now, according to the press statement of the Minister of Interior, these uh, the, 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 there are two different decisions uh, in those three different cases. One uh, or uh, one 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 court of the same federal court uh, jurisdiction said well. It is a local government registry or local government registry have the power. In another decision, they said no, it's the federal registry that has a capacity. Now, the question is that what is the law? Now, under the matrimonial, uh, the, under the marriage act, what is called a marriage under the law is uh, in different forms. It can be mar marriage. As long as the matter marriage is, is held in the registry of uh, is licensed by the Minister of Interior. Now, those registry include not only the federal registry, but also the local government registry. Now, what that is the law, but the interpretation of that law or that marriage act is now taking different forms, and that's why uh, you saw the two different decisions in that uh, same federal high court. Now, what behoves the Minister of Interior that has come out with a statement saying, no, that's that, well, the, that decision itself contradicts another decision of the same federal high court, but of two different judges, uh, is to appeal the decision. So that possibly the Court of Appeal can pronounce clearly on this um, uh, uh, naughty provision of the law. We'll be expecting that from the Minister of uh, Interior. If they have been so, so, so of the view that um, 
uh, that decision is wrong, that decision itself is contra is a contradiction to an earlier decision, then we need, they need to go upstairs to the court of appeal. But to raise the issue, as I've said, under the marriage act, the the question is that the, 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 the marriage act puts the question of licensing of registries, even licensing of um, uh, minister of ministers. I mean, these uh, church ministers or Islamic ministers that can conduct marriage under the heart, in the hands of the Minister of Interior. So, it's an issue of law that we want the Minister of Interior to take off yes, the Court of Appeal, even up to the Supreme Court, so that the Court can arrest this issue once and for all. All right, mm. Barrister Ademili, from mm. all that you have said now, let me try and really get a clearer understanding, you know. So, specifically, who is empowered by law to, you know, to make, uh, to, you know, to organize weddings as it were? You know, is it the federal government or the local government? That's on the one hand. Then again, so what happened since the court is now saying that uh, these uh, marriages or those weddings that have been conducted by the registries are null and void? Are they saying that these people are not legally married? What is the situation right now? Uh, the clear position is straightforward, <clears throat> as I've said, the marriage act. You can marry uh, under the marriage act or without on, under the, without the marriage act. Now, the, the weddings that have been conducted thus far by the Koyi Federal Registry is conducted under the uh, certificates issued there to marry certificates issued. Barrister Demley, are you still with us? All right, we'll try and reconnect uh, with Barrister Ayo Ade uh, Milui. Uh, we seem to have um, lost him there. Because, Messi, I, I really need to get some sort of um, clear understanding because there are lots of uh, you know, reactions concerning this uh, particular issue. A lot of couples you know, are saying that, uh, so is it like we are not legally married? Do we have to go through the process again to get another certificate? What happens to the ones that we had, and even those that just got married uh, uh, a few months ago? Well, I, I, from all that he said, uh, it feels like the Marriage Act has not stipulated, just like with, you know, our Constitution generally and some other acts, you still have some gray areas, there are lacunas, where there is no clear-cut definition of as to who should or who should not, because it feels like, you know, the local government also has a role to play licensing. You also have the fact that the federal government still has a role to play via the Ministry of Interior mm. and what have you. So that there seem to be that back and forth. But this is, you know, if we have all of this act, the question would be, uh, when was this act instituted? Or when, when did it become, you know, a law? And don't we think it's time that we begin to review it for all of this judgment? Because I remember, uh, like he rightly mentioned, you know, that particular uh, back and forth in 2017, there was also an argument where um, between who should, whether the federal government or not, and the federal government is saying, oh, we also do have a right, uh, according to the Constitution via the Ministry of Interior. And that's why he's constantly made reference to that also. And, you know, the local government in its own sense, just as he's mentioned, uh, also have a role of saying, okay, issuing of license and all of that. But, you know, it, it brings us back to the fact that uh, we need to begin to review some of these acts that we have. Maybe it's time that we review the Marriage Act, and maybe it's time that also we begin to review some parts of our constitution, if not all entirely, so that we can begin to have definite, because as it is now, there is no specific, there's no right. cl um, clear court definition mm. as to who t um, is responsible for conducting or not conducting okay. the weddings. All right, we understand that we have um, Barrister Ayo Ademilu Yambaka. Let's uh, get back to the conversation. Uh, Barista, before we left off, I was trying to understand what happens mm. right now with uh, those well. who are married. Yeah, go ahead. So I, I was saying that under the Marriage Act, the Minister of Interior is the one empowered to license those who can conduct marriages under the Act. So who are who can uh, be licensed by the Minister of Interior? Number one, registrar of um, fed, the federal registry, such as the Koyi registry, the popular Koyi registry. Then two, even uh, church ministers can be licensed 
by the Minister of Interior. So we are trying to scope even beyond. It's not a case of federal local governments versus federal government. There are local government registries. They are also licensed by the Minister of Interior. But the entire like, licensing is subjected to the Minister of Interior. Now, the, 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 clearly from that, for a layman's understand, understanding, the federal government of Nigeria has the overall control of, on marriages under the Act by virtue of that. Uh, uh, the local government registries are subjected to the licensing of the Minister of Interior. I think that's, that's, that makes it clearer. No, okay, can you take the, the second again, the letter again? You talked about yeah, the local the, government. Uh, you, what the, did you say about the local government? The, the marriages under the heart, conducted by the registries of the local government, are so of the Minister of Interior. Uh, I hope you understand that. I've laid the foundation of the fact that the Minister of Interior is the overall um, person uh, an officer uh, empowered by that act to issue licenses for the purpose of conducting, mar of, uh, conducting marriages under the act. So the overall power is in the Minister of Interior, who is an agent of the federal government of Nigeria. So, now, so what the courts have been trying to decide, or what the local government issue have been trying to decide is that in a particular local government, let's say it's just a local government now. Who is the licensed person to conduct uh, marriages under the heart? That's the question. Unlike other parts of Nigeria, that particular local government, the federal local government, used to harbor the federal capital territory of Nigeria before, before now. So that's why you have the coincidence of having a federal registry with a local government registry. So what has not been said to you is where you have the federal industry and the local government industry, mm -hmm. who should conduct marriage uh, where, where under the act? Ordinarily, by my own humble interpretation of that, both of them, even the federal industry, has a, the, the, the overall power uh, in that regard. But for a court of law that has not decided just yesterday, that uh, in that particular situation, uh, it is the local government registry, then we need an higher court to determine otherwise at this level. So that's all what I will say. Okay, so, so go ahead, Mercy. All right. So um, d don't you think that we have gotten to a point where we need to have some specific, uh, maybe it's time that we begin to review the Marriage Act so we know who entirely, because it feels like, you know, the federal government, I mean, the federal registry and the local registry still have to work in hand. In, they, you know, they still have one or two roles to play in conducting marriages in Nigeria as it is. Mm. So is it not time that we have some specifics so we don't have all of this back and forth and judgment coming through? Actually, we should not have any back and forth. Uh, if you listen to my submission, they, have, they should be running concurrently. Uh, for instance, if you have a place in KP in Nasarawa State where they don't have a federal industry, won't you marry? The marriage under the heart will be conducted by local government. What I think is uh, the, at the center of this dispute, there, we should have no dispute in, any, in law in itself, is the fact that uh, possibly <laughs> the, a lot, lot of people patronize the federal industry in Ethiopia uh, there. Uh, more than the local registry. Uh -huh. So, we, 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 both of them should enjoy that concurrent power, given the interpretation of that act. Uh -huh. But you know, uh, many people will patronize the higher uh, uh, office, which is the federal industry. And you know, they use it for diplomatic uh, purposes, uh, obtaining a uh, visa and all those kinds of things. So, it should not be the case that there should be a controversy in the first uh, uh, instance. So after the amendment of the Marriage Act, of course, that will be welcome, so that it's clearer and all those, uh, and all those things. Okay, Ayo, why we wait, uh, you know, maybe for uh, another uh, higher court, uh, you know, to 
overturn or to uphold uh, this particular issue. Now, because from what we know, the federal um, uh, high court has actually um, ordered the closure of all federal marriage registries opened by the ministry, including that um, of um, the Koyi uh, marriage registry with immediate effect. So what happened? Because I asked a question specifically. I didn't quite get the answer uh, I was looking for. What happened with the certificates already issued right now? Are they invalid? Yeah. Are those people... Not as, as the, minister, the, the, the minister of interior that has issued a statement, they need to appoint their lawyers to say, for instance, <clears throat> they, they don't want to appeal that uh, decision. Uh, because if going by that decision of that court, say, all those marriages are not in fact, many people have already spent money to obtain those certificates, trying to follow the heart and all those things. I, they, they will put a lot of citizens at risk if you don't uh, appeal that kind of uh, decision. I, I think that would be next um, thinking they should be advised the receiving for their lives right now. Uh -huh. And it even, it even helps our constitutional democracy if that, mission, if that matter goes up to the Court of Appeal and even to the Supreme Court so that the issue is uh, made to rest once and for all. Uh -huh. sure. so, so right now, are all parties supposed to stay proceeding? So what exactly happens? For instance, yes, going by the decision of that court, it says the uh, all the marriages conducted by the federal marriage registry are notified, and that um, they don't have the power to conduct marriages in the local governments and blah blah blah. So for now, that decision stays until except it is uh, appealed. And then um, the other three other uh, orders of uh, the court of appeal things on the matter. All okay, right, but uh, um, uh, just before we introduce uh, Ola Datu Hassan uh, to join the conversation, but don't you think that? Uh, that be, is but because of the uh, of about forum, so I call it. Yes, uh, just like you have mentioned. So don't you think that this is actually contradictory? You're saying that you know the federal registry, of course, through um, uh, the Minister of Interior, they do have a role to play in licensing and conducting of marriage. And so um, the court's judgment saying that, you know, all marriages conducted, it's illegal, making, I mean, make, pushing an argument that, you know, uh, federal, the federal government or the federal registry do not have a right. I mean, why should it be when, you know, constitutionally by the Marriage Act, uh, it, it's been stipulated. I mean, they do have a role to play in licensing and marriage registry. So I'm trying to understand why, you know, um, that judgment was declared and why it should be valid or it should be obeyed. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, I thought you were bringing on Mr. Alonso to Hassan. That was my thinking. All right, uh, would, uh, would uh, bring um, uh, a rare or louder to Hassan. He is uh, the chairman of ATLS uh, Bar Forum. Um, good morning to you, Barista Hassan. Many thanks for joining us. Uh, we have been looking at this issue. Uh, the federal government is insisting that um, the married licenses are issued uh, by the uh, EQE registry. They are not invalid, as the court has said. What are, you, what are your thoughts concerning this? Because uh, Nigerians seem to be a bit confused as to the same court uh, given, you know, Contradictory, you know, uh, rulings and all, Barrister Hassan. Well, um, well, it's a pleasure to be on your program this morning, and uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be on your program this morning. Yeah, uh, sorry, you, I need to to leave where I was due to network um, congestion. Uh, the the way and manner things have been managed in this country, um, it seems to be of uh, power absolutism in terms of um, the way the manner constitution was being drafted or crafted. All right, we seem to have in some connectivity issue with uh, Barrister Hassan. We'll try and reconnect with you. We we'll still have Barrister Ayo Ademilu uh, uh, with us. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, uh, uh, we. Very well. So, so I was I was saying 
that uh, it will be good. The, the matter is rapid. Uh, um, so, what made our my colleagues will not join us? I think we are trying to talk about the fact that uh, it all goes back to the issue of uh, the structure of uh, the, of, um, of our country as predicated upon by the Constitution of the Third Book of Nigeria. Uh, issues such as uh, marriage to the um, other the act should exclusively be under the concurrent list. So that both the federal, the even the state, and low government can conduct marriages under the act, and then we know that there's a personal position to that uh, to that effect in that true sense of federalism. So, so uh, while we await the next um, steps to be taken on this uh, judgment, the judgment is still valid and persisting. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, having read what the Minister of Interior wrote. I believe that they are they, they think they have a, a sufficient grounds of appeal upon which they can uh, appeal this decision. So, as a lawyer, uh, by virtue of my vote or purpose, I will want to abide the decision of this court on the appeal. Mm. Well, it, I'm hoping that I get answers. You know, for this particular concern, I'm saying that if. Uh, the federal ministry or the federal government through the uh, federal registry has a role to play in licensing via the Ministry of Interior. Why would we have a judgment declaring or saying that, uh, you know, all of the marriages that are conducted within the COE registry is invalid? Uh, that's the major concern. Why? because they also have a role to play. Is it that they do not understand that they have a role to play? And why should it be respected? Because it doesn't sound like it's unconstitutional or it's uh, illegal if you look at the act. Uh, like you actually mentioned, they ought to work hand in hand. So that, it's a major concern. I'm, I'm hoping that you know, we, uh, we have the reconnection because look at this, if you say you have a right, uh, the federal registry has a right to conduct marriages. Mm. Because I remember that argument in 2017. It was solely saying that the federal government also has a right to conduct marriages. And he has actually stated that. And so if the federal government has a right to conduct marriages, why then do we now have, you know, a declaration from a court, court or judgment saying, oh, uh, in a particular case now saying, oh, all of the marriages conducted here, it's illegal. That's because... Um, it is, you know, the local registry that should conduct them. When you understand that they have a role to play, they also have a right. So I, I really do not understand. And of course, because, uh, you know, why we should actually, you know, that judgment should be given and why it should be upheld. Uh, because what he is actually saying now, it would require, although the Minister of Interior has actually put out a statement, it would therefore require, you know, an appeal uh, approaching the law again to actually maybe uphold or upturn, you know, the decision. So, however, the declaration or the pronouncement or, uh, you know, the statement from this court is actually valid. It should stay valid. That's what it means. Mm, it should. It should actually be. My, my own concern is, you know, the federal high court, you know, giving a particular ruling at the same time, you know, is actually uh, giving another ruling that uh, the same uh, uh, registry uh, that uh, had been given the licenses all this while is invalid when the law stipulates that uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, Interior can actually handle that. Another, another uh, concern for me will be going forward now, where do people go for, you know, to get uh, their marriage and license? Would they need to go to you know the the local government or they uh, since uh, from what the the ruling just said now all federal registries you know you know should be closed I, I'm, I'm thinking that you know we have um our guest back uh, gentlemen it's good to have you join us once again all Al to hassan uh, has joined us back and I'm, I'm going to bring you on this particular one or probably just allow you continue with your thoughts but i'm also thinking do you don't you think that you know the issue of marriage and uh, conducting marriages shouldn't be you know within the poor view of the federal government i mean let's also uh, you know empower the local government to go ahead and conduct marriages the, the government has a lot on its plate already it's an issue of security amongst other issues defense what have you what are your thoughts on this well, is the person directed? Yeah, go ahead, Dr. Hassan. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, it's, um, it, uh, yes, I was trying to relate earlier that um, the way our constitution is being wired, have an issue on a faulty ground. And that is one of the uh, nemesis of what we will continue to witness in terms of conflict of interest, conflict of administrative um, decisions. And this issue of the of the federal marriage registry and the local uh, government marriage registry will continue to resurface. And the best way we expect to have uh, resolved this matter permanently in a federalist institution is for the federal government to recuse itself, itself to allow the local government to carry on with marriage. Because marriage under the Act on its own should be of a domicile interest with the with the local government and see whereby that marriage is being um, is being consummated. But in as much as uh, the court uh, set the record right, uh, it would be an afterthought for the Federal Ministry of Interior uh, to wanting to use a press release to obtain a decision of the court by reassuring citizens to remain resolute and um, it's uh, on a state value with the contempt of court without first um, um, seeking a leave of that court to inform the court and better still appeal if the federal ministry uh, or, the, or, 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 the, or the federal minister of interior at this junction is informing the public whereby they had lawyers that represented them at the court during the dependency of the matter on the judgment was delivered and they never raised any of their uh their their uh preliminary objection let me say the out of court preliminary objection that they are that they are previous judgment conflicting judgment that were in their favor that should have been raised prior before the delivery of this judgment as far as the entire public is concerned, it has raised a lot of um, worry, especially those whose marriage is aimed on the federal ministry of uh, um, on the federal marriage uh, registry. And there is this social um, 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 approach to it. Aside from the fact that we are discussing the, the conflict between the local government and the federal. Almost every marriage that has been consummated in this country, every intending husband and wife will want to vote for a federal marriage uh, registry. Maybe because of the soda of them uh, consummating uh, their marriage under the federal, seems to be more superior, or make their marriage more solid or more stronger rather than uh, coming under the local government. And there's no, no iota of fact to that effect. Even most churches will say, no, oh, they don't want a local government uh, certificate. You, know, you cannot use it to travel, you cannot use it to do anything. You know, it is all of a lie. And that has really wrecked the local government from any, from their own interest of consummating marriages at that local government level. That's one of the issues. One of the major issues is the point of revenue. We have to look at it from that perspective. It seems the, the Federal Ministry of Interior is more concerned about the revenue it's making daily or per hour from the, from the um, revenue of people that are coming to do their consummate their marriage. So they have to be this part to it so that the public needs to be informed appropriately. I want to say the Federal uh, Ministry of Interior, the Federal Marriage Registry uh, Registrar, um, was doing a aid to put up a press statement that is more conflicting and that will set a tone in the coming days for more trouble. The best way this can be resolved is for a constitutional reamendment, especially when the ongoing constitution is, uh, um, um, is before the National Assembly now, or a bill be sponsored that will now ensure that marriage on the 
<laughs> local government, not of anything that has to do with the Federal Ministry of Interior. Let Interior concentrate on security, on the on um, on um, on NLDC, on Ministry of uh, uh, um, or the or the uh, and the, um, and the other agency that are under it. But in as much as the ministry are, are properly represented at the court, I want to say that the present judgment be allowed to say whereby what I would have preferred that the judgment shouldn't have um, have um, uh, uh, cancelled all previous marriages that have been consummated. That is retroactivate court, as in the court retroactivating uh, the order by uh, by giving a, a blanket order. All marriages consummated. Then should have been that from the date of that judgment, marriages export should be under the exclusive preserve of the local government, and you know. In order not to cause um, unnecessary uh, chaos in so many, in some families, if, uh, as I speak to you, some families are on the verge of divorce. This will just give them an easy route uh, to 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 them um, uh, facing each other as if there was no marriage as an issue. It to set for that term in our judicial precedent on so many matters that are presently before the court that are relying on their that certificate as the, from the order of the court. So with so many judgments are resting in so many um, ongoing matters or matters that have been decided upon by court of um, competence of, 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 of corresponding jurisdiction, even to bring court in some matters. So this will um, set a lot of um, sporadic um, uh, confusion. So but as it is, the present order of the court, uh, we cannot uh, obtain it by this interview. We are only suggesting that the court can as well uh, revisit the, the, the order and uh, try to come uh, to terms the way it can be resolved. But the best way this matter can be finally resolved is for the National Assembly to reduce itself and give the local government uh, the right and the thing to ensure that their marriages are, are tolerated at the local government level as far as the country is concerned. All right, thank you so much, um, Ari Oladatun Hassan, uh, for your thoughts. Uh, indeed, uh, Nigerians and uh, those who just got married or who are actually contemplating getting married, you know, would have some sort of direction. We do appreciate your time and your you know, thought concerning all of this much. issue. What we just All right, it is still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll take a quick break right now and we'll be focusing our gaze on the nation's uh, public debt in a moment to join us again. <laughs>